What would you do if a tornado was heading your way? It sounds like a scene from a blockbuster movie. But for many, it's a very real possibility. Tornadoes are a force of nature that command our respect. These swirling vortexes of wind born from powerful thunderstorms are unpredictable and can be incredibly destructive. They can form with little warning, their paths can change without notice and their strength can escalate rapidly. Understanding the unpredictability of tornadoes is the first step towards safeguarding yourself and your loved ones. It's not just about knowing when they might strike, but also understanding the different types of tornadoes and the potential damage they can cause. You might be surprised to learn that not all tornadoes are created equal. They come in various shapes and sizes, from slender rope tornadoes that can lift you off your feet, to monstrous wedge tornadoes that can obliterate entire towns. Some tornadoes are visible and ominous, with their dark twisting funnels reaching down from the sky. Others, however, can be almost invisible, masked by rain or darkness. Yet despite their differences, all tornadoes share one common trait. They are potentially deadly and demand our attention. The power of tornadoes is measured on the enhanced Fujita scale, ranging from EF0, which can cause light damage, to the devastating EF5, which can level well-built houses and hurl cars like toys. The scale is based on the damage caused, not the actual wind speed, which is a testament to their destructive potential. But don't let the fear of tornadoes paralyze you. Instead, let it motivate you to understand and prepare for them. Learn the signs of a tornado, familiarize yourself with your local warning system, and have a plan in place. The unpredictable nature of tornadoes means that we can never know for certain when or where they will strike. But one thing we can control is our own preparedness and response. Knowledge, after all, is not just about understanding the world around us. It's about using that understanding to protect ourselves and those we care about. So let's delve deeper into the world of tornadoes and learn how to navigate these powerful storms. Remember, knowledge is the first step to survival. Can you distinguish between a tornado watch and a tornado warning? If the answer is no, don't worry, we're about to clear the air for you. A tornado watch and a tornado warning are two entirely different beasts. Let's start with a tornado watch. A watch is issued when the atmospheric conditions are favorable for tornadoes. It's nature's way of saying, hey, I might throw a tornado your way, be on your toes. It doesn't mean a tornado is imminent, but it does mean you should be vigilant. Keep an eye on the sky, listen to the weather reports, and have your safety plan ready to roll at a moment's notice. Now, let's talk about a tornado warning. A warning is issued when a tornado has been sighted or indicated by weather radar. It's nature's equivalent of shouting, tornado incoming, take cover. If a tornado warning is issued in your area, you need to act immediately. Seek shelter in the lowest and most central part of your home, away from windows. If you're in a vehicle or outdoors, find a sturdy structure or a ditch to take cover in. So in a nutshell, a tornado watch means stay alert, and a tornado warning means take immediate action. The difference in response can be as stark as night and day. It's crucial to stay informed through reliable sources, such as the National Weather Service, local news, or a trusted weather app. Don't rely on social media rumors or the old-fashioned method of looking out the window. The more accurate your information, the better your chances of staying safe. Remember, tornadoes are unpredictable. They can form quickly, change direction without warning, and pack winds that can exceed 200 miles per hour. Don't underestimate their power. Your life and the lives of your loved ones could depend on your ability to understand and act on these alerts. Understanding these alerts can be the difference between life and death. Your knowledge, vigilance, and swift action when a tornado is on the horizon could be the key to your survival. How prepared are you for a tornado? Now that's a question that can make a world of difference when the winds start to howl. In the face of a tornado, preparation isn't just important, it's essential. First and foremost, you need to have a disaster plan. This is a detailed course of action outlining what each member of your household should do when a tornado is imminent. It includes identifying safe spots in your home, establishing communication methods, and planning evacuation routes. Practice this plan regularly, so it becomes second nature. Remember, in a crisis, confusion is your enemy, but a well-rehearsed plan is your best friend. Now, let's talk about something equally important, your emergency kit. This is your lifeline when you're hunkered down, waiting for the storm to pass. So, what goes into this kit? Begin with the basics, food and water. Ensure you have enough non-perishable food items and bottled water to last each person for at least three days. 
canned goods, granola bars and dried fruits are all great choices. Next, consider medical supplies. A first aid kit is a must, complete with bandages, antiseptics, pain relievers, and any prescription medications you or your family members might need. Don't forget the importance of essential documents. Copies of identification, insurance policies, and medical records should be kept in a waterproof and fireproof container. In the chaos that can follow a tornado, having these documents can make rebuilding and recovery a smoother process. Last but not least, remember to include items for light and communication. A hand crank or battery-powered radio can keep you updated on the situation, while flashlights or glow sticks can provide light when the power goes out. Preparation is more than just having a plan and a kit though, it's a mindset, a commitment to taking action before disaster strikes, and a dedication to the safety and well-being of yourself and your loved ones. Being prepared can drastically increase your chances of survival. So ask yourself again, how prepared are you for a tornado? Do you know where to seek shelter during a tornado? It's a question that could be a lifesaver. Let's break it down based on where you might be when a tornado strikes, at home, in a vehicle, or outdoors. If you're at home when a tornado is approaching, your safest bet is to go to the lowest and most central part of your home. Basements or storm cellars provide the best protection. If you don't have a basement, go to the center of an interior room on the lowest level, such as a closet or bathroom. The goal is to put as many walls as possible between you and the outside. And remember, stay away from windows. They can shatter from the pressure changes or wind, sending shards of glass flying. But what if you're in a vehicle when a tornado is sighted? Contrary to popular belief, hiding under a freeway overpass is not safe. The narrow passage can act like a wind tunnel, increasing the speed of the wind and the likelihood of being hit by debris. Your best option is to drive at a right angle to the tornado's path, if you can do so safely. If you can't drive away, park your vehicle, keep your seatbelt on, and duck below the windows, covering yourself with a coat or blanket if possible. And if you're outdoors with no shelter nearby, Look for a low-lying area like a ditch or ravine and lie flat, covering your head with your hands to protect against flying debris. Avoid areas with trees as they can be uprooted or broken by high winds. No matter where you are, protect yourself from flying debris as much as possible. Use blankets, sleeping bags, or mattresses. Even a helmet can provide critical protection for your head. Remember, tornadoes are unpredictable. They can change direction, speed up, slow down, or even spawn new tornadoes without warning. But knowing where to seek shelter and what to do can increase your chances of survival. Choosing the right shelter can save your life. Make sure you're prepared so you can react quickly and effectively if a tornado comes your way. What should you do after a tornado has passed? Now that we've discussed how to prepare for a tornado and where to seek shelter during the storm, let's explore the steps to take in the aftermath. When the tornado has passed and the winds have calmed, the first thing you should do is check yourself and those around you for injuries. If anyone is hurt, provide first aid if you can, or seek medical assistance immediately. Remember, in the wake of a tornado, emergency services may be overwhelmed, so it's crucial to have a basic understanding of first aid. Next, carefully assess your surroundings. While it might be tempting to explore the damage, it's essential to stay away from buildings or structures that appear unstable or damaged they might collapse without warning, broken glass, exposed nails, and other debris can also pose serious hazards, so be cautious when moving around. Utilities can also be affected by the storm. If you smell gas or see downed power lines, leave the area immediately and report it to your utility company. It's also a good idea to turn off your gas and electricity if you can do so safely to prevent potential fires or other hazards. In the aftermath of a tornado, reliable information is your best friend. Keep a battery-powered radio handy, and listen for updates from local authorities. They'll provide crucial information, like where to find emergency shelters, how to access medical help, and when it's safe to re-enter damaged buildings. Remember, it's normal to feel a range of emotions after surviving a tornado. It's a traumatic event, and it's okay to seek help if you're feeling overwhelmed. Reach out to local community resources, mental health professionals, or trusted friends and family for support. Finally, be patient. Recovery can take time, and it's important to take care of yourself and your loved ones as you navigate through the process. Surviving a tornado doesn't end when the storm does. Stay safe and vigilant.